The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowitz. You'll notice a little bit of rain still across the Carolinas, more showers and thunderstorms towards Missouri. All of this missing us, okay? What won't miss us is our fair weather friend, High Pressure. It's going to be in charge of our weather here Wednesday and Thursday. So for tonight, a couple of clouds in and out of our backyards. Nothing more than that. Looks like tomorrow at 7 a.m. We're awakening to sunshine. We're going to hold on to that sunshine as we head, say, towards Wednesday at 5 p.m. Wednesday night, we're going to be fair. Thursday, we're dry, too. Thursday starts with sunshine. However, look what happens Thursday afternoon. We start to see some clouds bubbling up. So clouds are actually going to thicken for us on Thursday, but Wednesday and Thursday are dry. Frankly, most of us on Friday are dry as well. So let's talk about what we're tracking here. Our next weather maker comes into play for us here as we head into Mother's Day weekend. Could we have a couple of showers in the mountains late Friday? Absolutely we could, but really it's Saturday and then again, on Mother's Day, where we're going to have a better chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. I think both Saturday and Sunday start dry, but as we turn the page into the afternoon and go into the evening, we're going to have that daily chance for some passing hit or miss thunder showers. In addition to that, it's going to be very warm this uh, holiday weekend, looking at temperatures in the 70s and 80s for high. So again, Temperatures tomorrow go down, lower humidity. It's a brief break <laughs> from the humidity because the humidity comes right back into play for us here this upcoming weekend. So if you're hiking this weekend with mom, here's your forecast. Warm and dry on Friday. Again, the NRV may have a few showers or thunder showers late in the day. And then Saturday, Sunday look to be about carbon copies of one another. Scattered showers and thunderstorms develop, especially again after 1, 2 o'clock. So keep your eye to the sky in the afternoon and evening hours this weekend. And of course, have your local weather authorities weather app in the palm of your hand. Right now it is 54 in Hot Springs, 55 Covington and Lexington, 63 Roanoke. It's 60 in Danville and also in Blacksburg. Humidity today was sticky. Humidity was high, but it goes down behind that front that's out of here. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it's going to feel pretty good outside. Now, I will tell you that on Thursday and Friday, the humidity values are going to be lower, but the mercury is going to go back up again. So after a cooler day tomorrow, we're going to start to warm things back up quickly on Thursday and on Friday. And then by the weekend, not only are we warm, but we're muggy too. So for tonight, we're turning cooler, less humid. Overnight lows tonight, about 46 to 53. Three-day zone-by-zone forecast showing in the NRV or dry Wednesday, Thursday. Friday late day, you probably have the best chance to see a few thunder showers. In the highlands, I think you're dry Wednesday, Thursday, and for the most part on Friday. And in south side, 70s tomorrow, well into the 80s Thursday and Friday. In Lynchburg, you're dry for the next three days. Going to have a better chance for those passing thunder showers on Saturday and then also on Mother's Day. That chance for hit or miss thunder showers, that unsettled weather will continue into Monday and Tuesday of next week and across the Roanoke Valley. Enjoy tomorrow, especially if you're a fan of like cooler, less humid air because temperatures go back up into the 80s, well into the 80s, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And then we drop into the 70s Monday and Tuesday of next week. But even when we drop into the 70s early next week, it's still going to be pretty humid out there. Today we forecast 83. Oh, oh so the high close. Was 84. So close. $10 in the pot, $260 raised for the Virginia Institute of Autism.